Do me a favor. Go help your brother study for his math test tomorrow. Is that really a good use of my time? Come on. I'm asking nice. If he doesn't pass, he won't be able to play football. You realize he's often mean to me. So? Your mother's mean to me. I still try to be helpful. Does she break wind on your head? Because that's what Georgie does to me. Can you help me out here? I'll do it if you take me to the train store. You got it. And buy me whatever I want. If Georgie passes a test, I'll get you whatever you want. Under 20 bucks. Deal. Georgie? What? Dad told me to help you study for the math test. I don't need your help. Get lost. Georgie, let him help you. Fine. Come in. Oh, dear. What's your problem? No problem. I'll just tidy while we talk. Help yourself. Before we start, I'd like to get a sense of how much algebra you know. OK. Do you understand solving graphing linear inequalities? Sure. Great. Explain it to me. Uh, first you solve them, and then you graph them. And how do you do that? Uh, you know, carefully. Excuse me. $20 isn't going to do it. So you collect all the terms linear and x. See? It's simple. Maybe for you. No, it's simple for everybody. Now you collect all the terms linear and y. I don't get it. Try this. Close your eyes. OK. Can you see the slope of the line given by the coefficients of x and y? No. What do you see? Darkness. Try harder. Wait. I see Elle McPherson in a bikini. Oh, it just fell off. Dad! I'll make it 40. Keep going. Maybe the problem is you're not a good teacher. Unlikely. Regardless, I am your only hope. What do you see when you close your eyes? I see quadrant one is red. Quadrant two is soft and plush. Quadrant three smells like lavender. And quadrant four is overlaid with a Fibonacci spiral. That's really weird. No. What's really weird is doing simple algebra and thinking about a girl in a bikini. I disagree. Dad! Keep going. And when you divide by a negative number, you have to reverse the direction of the inequality. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. But we're not done. You're going to fail. I get enough of what you said. I'll be fine. It was at that moment I decided I was not cut out for teaching. I consoled myself with the knowledge that I was wonderful at everything else. Take one and pass it back. Take one and pass it back. As you all know, this test will count for 25% of your final grade. Be sure to show all your work. If you get stuck on a question, move on and come back to it at the end. Seeing my brother struggle was difficult for me. As his tutor, I took his failure personally, almost as if I had failed, which was odd because I knew how dumb he was. Georgie, how'd you do on that math test today? That was tough. I don't know. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Me too. That's all right, baby. You tried. Yeah, it's OK, baby. I don't understand what went wrong. Is there any chance you drank alcohol when you were pregnant with Georgie? No. Well, don't be so high and mighty. I drank when I was pregnant with you. You turned out fine. These days, everybody's like, don't drink, don't smoke. I swear. Texas is turning into California. You realize there's nothing I can do if you fail. You're off the team. I know. Well, I'm going to ask Jesus to help you get a good grade on that test. Shouldn't you have asked him before he took it? The man rose from the dead. I think he can fix a test after the fact. You know, I hear you say things like that, and I wonder if maybe I did have a few too many whiskey sours when you were in my belly. My name is Sheldon Cooper, and I'm running for class president. OK. Put her there. Greetings, fellow students. I'm running for class president. Here's a button. Have a grown-up put them on you. They're sharp. Vote Sheldon for class president. Vote Sheldon for class president. Don't worry. It's a number two. You can use it on standardized tests. OK. And of course, homework. I love homework. Well, it's so nice to finally meet you. I'm Nell Cavanaugh. My opponent. I would shake your hand, but my mom is washing my mittens. OK. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No, Kavanaugh. It appears we're taking the mittens off. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, this goes well beyond unfortunate. It's flat out unfair. Did you not say that you love homework? Of course I said it. I say it all the time. But she took it out of context and is using it against me. Well, that is what happens in politics. People stretch the truth. Well, those people are dirty dogs. They certainly are. Now, let me ask you something. How bad do you want to win this election? Bad enough to let 105 kids shake my mitten. Okay, then you need to toughen up. Politics is not for the weak need. Are you suggesting that I fight fire with fire? I am. So going to my room and crying on my pillow is not an option. It is not. Well, I'd like to retaliate, but I don't know anything about her. Make something up. Ooh, tell people she has head lice. I won't resort to lying. There's a Denise cabin on my class. Could be her little sister. So? I'll see if I can dig up something about now you can use against her. Thank you. Hey, I spoke to now sister. Find out some interesting stuff. Thanks, but I've decided I don't want to stoop to her level. If I can't win on the quality of my ideas, then I'd rather lose with my head held high. That's really stupid, but in case you change your mind. So, instead of going on about myself, I'd like to talk to you about my opponent. Sheldon Cooper has been lobbying for new science equipment here at Medford High. And while that sounds wonderful, the truth is, he thinks our school wastes its money on football. Do we really want a class president who doesn't care about football? No. I know I'm proud to be a Medford High cheerleader and I love football. <laughs> Let me tell you another interesting fact about my opponent. Did you know that Sheldon Cooper is an atheist? That's right. He doesn't believe in God. Just keep that in mind when you cast your vote today. I'm Mel Kavanaugh. Go Wolves! Mel Kavanaugh is a Yankee. She may love football, and she may love God, but she was born in Scarsdale. That's in New York. There's more. My opponent didn't move to Texas until she was seven years old. In fact, in her bedroom, there is a pennant for the New York Yankees. While I may not be a fan of organized religion or sports, I promise if you vote for me, I'll do my best to get new science equipment for our school. Oh. Don't mess with Texas!